let's just start out with a very simple, um, the person on the 10-foot um, line is going to hit a ball. You're going to dig it back to her. And the person on the 10-foot line is going to catch the ball, then throw it to herself, hit the ball. Got it? So go ahead. All right. Terrific. Now switch. 10-foot line, end line, switch. 10-foot line, end line, switch. OK. Now, stop. The person on the 10-foot line is hitting the ball, but you're not catching it. So it's just going to be, you're going to dig to me, right? So if I'm hitting at you, I'm going to keep moving, get it right to me to the 10-foot. That's it. Continuous, right? Go. OK, so stop. So, hey, two different things. One, you're catching the ball, then you're continually hitting. You've got to adjust your feet, move, and so forth. Now, let's do regular. We all know what pepper is. Let's do pepper. Go. You can, yeah, you can switch one more time if you want, but yeah, go ahead. All right, stop. So that's regular pepper. I dig. We alternate hitting and setting. Now, let's do pepper, but the person that's hitting the ball, you're jumping every time you hit. Got it? Go. OK, good. Switch now. 10-foot line, end line, switch quickly. So again, a different same pepper, but now the skill is I'm jumping. So now let's do pepper, but every dig is overhand. So what does the hitter need to do? I've got to hit the ball higher, right? So overhand dig only. Ready? Go. You're allowed to move your feet. So you got to get your forehead behind the ball if you're going to dig it overhand. Forehead behind the ball if you're going to dig it overhand. OK, good, stop. All right, last thing we're going to do. Each person's doing this. Switch again, 10-foot line, end line. Why do I keep switching them? Because, look, my orientation is different because most of the things in volleyball need to happen toward the net. I like doing that instead of going this way because that doesn't happen in the game as much as toward the net. So I need to just get into that spatial orientation. Russ talked about that about, hey, spatial orientation is important in a gym. Okay, now, each one of you is, you're going to dig to yourself, set to yourself, then hit at your partner. So you're doing three contacts, dig, set, hit. Right? Go. All right. Hold up. Hold up. So stop. This is really good because you've got to control the ball. You've got to dig it to yourself, set it to yourself, and hit. Let's do 15 seconds, no error, the whole gym. Got it, or we start again. 15 seconds. Ready, go. Stop. All right, so, hey, what happened? You saw where the ball is going everywhere. You've got to control the accountability. How many in a row? How many within a certain time frame? Practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And you got to control that. Russell.